Good morning from Wisconsin. I can't believe this is my fifth year coming here for Christmas. But we just woke up. Christmas day was now two, two days ago. We had such an amazing time, like really relaxing. And I don't really know what we're doing today, but I thought I would vlog because I feel like these holiday vlogs are just a staple now and I love watching them back. So welcome to my holiday vlog. I am going to get my complaining out of the way because I did my um, video talking about insomnia and stuff and I thought I would just complain for eight seconds and then just move on with my day. Um, but as soon as I got here, I actually slept um, two, the first two nights, which was really nice. And then I got a really horrific stomach bug, or I don't even know horrific like a normal stomach bug but it was her just horrific um so that was obviously not fun i had not had one that bad and since probably elementary school so i was feeling really weak and then my sleep started acting up again i think probably because i lost like all the good vitamins i was taking at least that's what i'm telling myself why i didn't sleep again um but been struggling with sleep still i'm still trying to figure it out but i get home this weekend um so i am gonna continue trying to figure out what to do for all the sleep stuff but um I'm feeling a little sleepy today but i'm just kind of over being like sluggish you know so that's my complaints other than that no complaints um but there's my little update got breakfast in bed and of course he brought my Tabasco to bed. Also, can we just talk about egg in the baskets? I call these egg in a baskets and it's like one of the biggest controversies on my page. People are like, it's called toad in a hole. It's called, it's called, uh, it's called rabbit in a pocket. It's called egg in a, egg in a biscuit. Like everybody's got their, <laughs> their names for it. I call it egg in a basket. And I don't think Dylan grew up eating these. Actually, I know he didn't. He grew up not eating these. So he calls them egg in a basket too. And it makes me happy because we would probably be in a fight if we called them something else. What do you call them? Let me know. I'm sure it's all going to be like insane names. Okay, Dylan comes in with his breakfast and sits on the side of the bed. Dylan, this was you. This is egg yolk. I just sat down. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. No, your blanket was covering this. I think you were trying to hide it from me. He has a ham, egg, and cheese. Ham, egg, and chipotle. Ham? From a Wisconsin cow. Tomato. Egg. Whole wheat toast. Primal. Ooh, and you got the back piece of toast. Primal kitchen mayo. <laughs> Dylan will eat anything. He doesn't really... I'm a masochist. He doesn't care. Um, how was your Christmas? This year. It was fun. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was fantastic. But you've been... Have you been sleeping better or worse? Mm, I've been taking... <laughs> Even Something every night, so it's a little different. Damn, honey. We played poker last night. I won. We played Monopoly the other day. You didn't win. I definitely won. No, your mom won. No, I was fucking around on the last one. It was the last game, but I won. Your mom, I was right there. I watched it happen. Your mom literally won. I had the most money. My mom was just dicking around on the last dance. Doesn't matter. I was tagged in this video so many times. Like people kept mentioning it's this little green icon thing. <laughs> people kept tagging me in it. Okay, I'm about to hit the gym. Just gonna walk a little bit. Feels nice. So it's so beautiful. 
don't know from the shadows if you can see everything. Christmas Hallmark vibes. Work out at Town Hall, City Hall. Okay, we're back from the gym. I just showered. I'm gonna get a little bit ready because I think we're going into the town today to the spot called Dave Knuth's. Um, to grab a bite and then I think we're gonna go to the smallest um, bowling alley it's always funny being like such a girly girl here like um, there's Dylan's mom and Dylan's aunt here but they're both boy moms like neither of them have girls um, and so there's just Dylan his brother and his cousin are here which are all dudes and I'm like yep I'll be ready in a jiffy but I could totally just do like a full-on smoky eye for fun but here I try to be a little bit quicker so that I'm not the last one getting ready even though I will be the last one getting ready but I've been drinking probiotics because I have seen a few things and even my naturopath was like I'm just curious if it's something related to your gut like if your gut is messed up or out of whack at all um it can really mess up everything and i would love if it were something as kind of simple as that or not maybe not simple but that quick of a fix so i'm trying to drink a bunch of kombucha and like take little probiotic pills i feel like i have noticed a difference with how i feel a little bit so who knows okay i also asked for this for Christmas this year, the Anastasia Contour Kit. It's like we are back in 2015. Dina actually constantly uses this and anytime I borrow it from her, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to rebuy it. So I put it on my Christmas list this year. Yep. It's this yellow powder. I love like a little banana powder shade. Okay, let's get to it. We're gonna do my little yearly gift haul. Dylan's family does it right. Um, I, I preface this by saying this every year. I'm overwhelmed. I cried the first year because I was like, oh my gosh, just like the amount of things and experiences they gift are just so thoughtful. Obviously there's like fun materialistic things they give and stuff, but they also give really thoughtful things and they just like spend all year looking for gifts like this is their thing um so i just am excited to show you guys i know a lot of y'all look forward to seeing it um i got a lot of things i was like what should i film i'm at the lake a lot of people were like do a gift haul so i'm just gonna do it and i'm gonna try to do it pretty quick so i'll just run through at least um some of them and um kind of show you what we're working with first things first Dylan's mom, Cass, um, she's the queen of Joe Malone candles. That's how I always have them at my house. She literally, like, socks, stocks them up for us. Um, so she got me a Joe Malone candle. I also got her one. It's just kind of our thing. They last over a year. They're th the huge ones. You probably see them in my... I don't want to take it out. Um, but they smell amazing, and I'm obsessed with them. So this scent is... Wild Fig and Cassis hot sauce kit. Do I need to explain more? Dylan got me um, these beautiful Prada loafers that I'm excited to wear. Um, I just love the smell of new shoes. So excited for these. Also, I used to be a size seven and in the past year, I've gone back down to six and a half. Like, I literally used to only buy sevens, but now I can't wear sevens because they're too big. So now I'm a six and a half. So these are six and a half, but it's just, is that a thing? I don't know why my, maybe my feet shrank or I don't know. Or maybe I was just wearing the wrong size. Cutest sweatshirt ever. Hermes 
felt, which I really was stoked about. This has um, black and brown on each side, so it um, is like multi-use and I can wear it uh, forever. So it's funny, I, apparently this is the scent that Sophia Ritchie Grange, I guess her new last name, right? Um, gave out at her wedding. Um, it's this Eden Rock, which is where she got married. It's a spot in like France or whatever. But it's this Christian Dior perfume and it smells so good. It like fresh baby powder smell, but in a good way. I really like this. And um, yeah, she, apparently she gave it to her guests and stuff. I, it smells amazing. Definitely try this. A few cute little bags like this one. This Saint Laurent canvas bag. Obsessed. Like, we'll literally be wearing this all the time. And this little mini cutie. Dylan's Aunt Chris got some really creative, like, stocking stuffer gifts. And I'm the biggest fan of hot Cheetos. Like, that's my, um, like, road trip choice of chips. So she got me these. Are you ready? Cheetos makeup. Hot Cheetos makeup. I was dying. This is an eyeshadow palette and the colors are actually really stunning. I'm absolutely going to do a makeup tutorial using this. So they reached out to the people that created our wedding invite, um, which has the chateau on it. Oh, I don't think you guys have seen our wedding invite actually, because I kept it a secret. Um, but this is the chateau we got married at, Chateau de Villette, and she got it printed out, um, for a little print that we can place in our house, and this is, I almost cried with this, this is very special, um, plus it's just cute, and it's like a cool thing, like, I was like, I don't want to have really any art in my house that isn't meaningful, or I have a tie to, or I get it somewhere cool, or a memory, you know? Um, like I'm over just like decorative art. I want like meaningful art. So love this. This was really thoughtful. I got a bunch of sleep stuff this year. Obviously this is, this book will put you to sleep. It's like, um, like you can't count how many cats or, I don't know, it's just random stuff to make your mind not think. Um, I got a bunch of sleep teas. This is like all sleep stuff in here. I got a certificate to the Calm app, which I'm excited to try. Okay, I'll say Dylan's big, big, big gift he got me. Do you want to say it, Dill? Say He's it. changing. You can say it, buddy. Uh, it's a birthday and Christmas gift. Um, but for my birthday, we are going to, I won't say where unless you saw it in the photo, um, but a really cool hotel somewhere really snowy in the US. And I'm so excited because I haven't gone to like any cool ski areas do i ski no but i can't wait to go and we're gonna have a nice little romantic week and i'm so excited should i say where yeah. no i'm gonna keep it a surprise you'll see the first week of february but i'm so excited dior palette and gloss i was really wanting this palette um i keep seeing it on like tiktok i think i should have tried it out today um, that was really pretty. I was really excited about this. I got this cute, um, set from, it's Polo. So it's just this cute, plain little cream sweater, the detailing on the side and matching pants with it. So, um, I'm definitely going to wear this a lot. So love this. Um, I got a few good basics. Dylan got me a bunch of good solid basic tees and tanks and dresses, which is what I live in, clearly. Um, this little kith dress. These were fun. Look. <laughs> Hannah, Dylan, Barber. But it looks like a happy birthday, which is kind of funny. Um, but we got a bunch of these towels, which are pretty with the little stripes at the bottom. Let's see. I can honestly say I see my husband in this room. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Our final gift. You say it. You say it. Uh, we're going to Monaco. We're going to Monaco. Yay! 
we're going to Formula One there, and I'm so excited. Um, I haven't been to any of the F1 stuff, so I'm like, I just think it's gonna be really cool. Um, but that's like the just, there were a bunch of fun stocking stuffers and stuff like that, but I, um, it went to ball, yay, going through everything. But that's the gist. Insanely grateful. Um, very excited. My mom and I did um, a spa for our Christmas this year, which was really special. I got my um, dad some clothing, and I was like, please just come visit me in San Diego. Like, that's the only gift I want this year. So we'll try to make that happen with my dad. Um, and... Yeah, that's how beautiful it is right now. This place is not real. That right there is not real. Just got some pics in my little jacket. Um, but yeah, we're off to grab a bite. It's like a early den, so it's 4:30 right now. I'm excited! I'm hungry. This is also like the first day I've dressed up because there was a cute little holiday party the night that I was sick as soon as we got here so I didn't get to go. So tonight's my, this is my grand outfit. I don't even have earrings on. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna see if they have any lanes. It's called Stars and Stripes. electronic stuff going on. one of the doors cracked and he grabbed a knife. He's really dramatic about it. What? Shoot, that girl who wears the turtleneck from that show. What show? The documentary. She kind of talked like this. Oh, wow, that was good. Uh, Catherine? Uh, Elizabeth Holmes. I'm Elizabeth Holmes. I do look like Elizabeth Holmes. Have y'all seen that? She wears a turtleneck. But we left with lots of memories from the bowling alley and a chipped nail. This happens every time, so I'm gonna try to um, file it down. But I think we're gonna watch home videos of them. I wish I had mine here, that would be fun, but I don't know if like Dylan's cousins would wanna watch home videos of me. Um, but we're gonna watch some of them, which will be fun and cozy up, hang out. Um, so if I don't do another outro, then thank you for watching and Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next I'll see you next time, love Elizabeth Holmes.